Hi, my name is Maggie Pleta, and I'm the Education Coordinator at the Near Here in Delaware. And in this series, Science Time with Maggie, we're going to learn about the Delaware Bay and all the wonderful things it does for us. But today, we're going to talk about what near means. Because I know it's not very clear, probably about as clear as mud. So we're going to go through each and every letter and explain exactly what it means. Let's go into the lab to talk about our first letter, N. That's better. So let's talk about our first letter, N for national. This is probably the easiest letter in our acronym because all it means is that it's a system that's all over the United States. The way it works, it's a partnership between NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and a state agency. Here in Delaware, our state agency is DENREC, the Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Control. Each state has a different state agency they partner with. Some of them partner with the DNR, like we do in Delaware, and other ones partner with a state university. The idea is that if we all work together on national priorities, but with a local focus, we'll get the most bang for our buck in estuarine research. The next letter in our acronym is E for estuarine. I can see by your face, all you heard was S to what? Really, let's break it down. It's easy. It's S to or green, estuarine. What it is, is where you have two bodies of water that have different characteristics that come together. To make it really easy, just think an estuary is where the river meets a sea. It's getting kind of boring. Why don't we go outside and check out an estuary firsthand? Oh, this is better. Now, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, estuaries. So there are five different types of estuaries, depending on where you're at and kind of the geology that's there. Here in our area, ours is what is known as a coastal plain. But you mostly likely just know it as the Delaware Bay. The Delaware Bay is located between Delaware and New Jersey. And it's where the Delaware River comes in to meet the Atlantic Ocean. And here, where it's nice and wet, you get brackish water. This brackish water is salt water mixed with fresh. Yeah, it's a little salty. It is the perfect combination to make unique habitats like salt marshes. The estuary and these marshes provide the perfect habitat for animals to grow up in and find their food. But not just animals, we as humans depend on them for so much, which is why it's so important for us to protect them and study them. Which brings us to our first R, research. Not this kind of research, this kind of research. Yeah, so our research does take place in the lab, inside, goggles, test tubes, the whole nine. But most of it takes place right out here in our resource. Here at the reserve, the kind of research we do is looking at how habitats change and how they're doing. To do this, we take what is known as system-wide monitoring program data. What makes it really good is that not only do we collect it, but so does every other reserve in the system. This gives researchers a really great base of data they can look at to see how things are changing. This data includes um, plant growth, weather data, water quality, all of it. Not only do we do long-term monitoring programs here, we also partner with local organizations, universities, nonprofits to give them the technology and the information that we have, we share with them, and we make sure that there's the best possible research of our estuaries so we can take care of it the best way possible. Now our estuaries look like this. Why don't we go check out another habitat we have here in Delaware to see how they change. Oh man, I think I'm stuck. Can I, can I get some help over here? The final letter in our acronym is R for reserve. Reserve means exactly what it sounds like. It means these areas are reserved or set aside and stop from being changed in any way. This ensures that future generations can come and visit these beautiful areas and recreate and learn and do research. It also makes sure that these areas are the perfect biological laboratories for our scientists. Because they're unchanged, it gives them the ability to see how these habitats might change naturally over time. 
as well as how human-induced changes to the environment and to the ecosystem might affect these one day as well. Well, that's all we have for today. And now that you're an expert on National Estuary and Research Reserves, I hope that you take the time to visit the one here in Delaware, as well as the other 27 across the country. Because you never know what you're gonna find in an estuary or what you can do. Thanks for joining me on Science Time with Maggie, and I will see you next time. My mind isn't working. Working. Okay. <laughs>